Kill Reapings everybody and welcome to Serious Curious Avengers in Serious Remnants. This is a new mod pack and a new series that I uh, assembled over the last few days. And uh, while I kind of collect some things here, get all the basic stuff going, I'll talk about what this uh, pack is, what it inspired, um, and some other information. And then later I might just cut to some more base building or something. I don't know, we, sh we shall see. But yeah, basically the idea for this pack was that um, a couple of days ago I was talking with Morad about how I sometimes want to go back to uh, 1.8.9 to play with a, a couple of mods, just like Thorncraft 5, uh, Intangible and Immersive Engineering. Um, and he was mentioning that there are people who make something or do something like a Surviving With and then the mod name series. Um, and I looked it up, yeah, it's like people having like these mini series of like maybe 20 episodes or so where they uh, pick one mod they want to play through and play through that and stuff um, and then just add a bunch of like or a couple of other like you know helper mods like utilities uh, uh, journey map JEI stuff like that and so I kind of decided I sort of want to try this so I had two ideas for packs uh, the first one was the one from for 1.8.9, uh, which would be Thorncraft and Tangible and some other things. Um, and the other one would be one for 1.11, which is this now. And the idea behind this one was that uh, some some of you might know that I'm working on a 1.10 mod pack. And I didn't, uh, what I'm trying to say, I, I was testing out some mods and there's uh, two mods called uh, Embers and Roots. And uh, unfortunately, they have stopped developing or releasing updates for 1.10. He will, the developer will only release them for 1.11 now, uh, just to kind of get the modding community going, I guess. Um, and it has a lot of cool new things that I actually wanted to check out. And I was kind of curious about 1.11 in general and just see how things are at the moment. Um, it's still pretty bad. How do you pick these up again? Shift, left click or something? Um, it's still not it's still not great, but you can definitely assemble something. So this is what this is. The main focus of this mod pack is Embers, Roots 2, and Better with Mods, which is a remake of Better Than Wolves, which was a 1.6.4, I think, mod that was very popular. And um, me being me, I, I can't just have three mods and be done. <laughs> I had to add a couple of other things. But these are like the big three content mods, uh, the ones we will focus on. Um, I, I originally, the idea was kind of like to make like a Dwarven tech, ooh, that was close, a Dwarven tech um, kind of mod pack. I The project here when I started, it was called Dwarven Survival. Uh, Serious Remnants came later, that's something Morred suggested as well. He helped me out a lot with this, actually was like ideas and some other things, so shout out to him, go subscribe to him, Morred208 on uh, youtube.com. <laughs> and this is already cool, here's a chest, so I added some custom made structures into the world, so there are some, uh, ooh, that's really good, there are some uh, world gen things in this world that you can go out and explore. The idea is that later on there will be more structures. I think I'll release more over the uh, next few weeks or something when I have time to work on them. I would like to have some old Dwarven ruins underground, maybe um, some more like structures here and there that have loot and other nice things. Is that a village? It is a village. This might be a really good spawn. If you see a beam of light in the sky, that's really good because we need to go there. Um, but yeah, so like I said, three main mods. Uh, and then I added some other things. So we have, so you can see down here, we have uh, uh, Tough as Nails, which adds like this little bubble in the middle, which is your temperature. So you have to like uh, take care of that. We have a Thirst Meter on the right side, which uh, it's not difficult to take care of, to be honest, because you can uh, drink dirty water. For example, I start off with, with a bottle here and I kind of fill this up and I get dirty water. I could drink this, but this gives me like a hunger effect for my thirst kind of. Uh, which is not terrible, there's no real downside to be honest, I wish I would add something. Uh, maybe you would like instantly die or something if you like run out of water, but um, it, it still adds some some things to the game, I guess. Uh, let's see if there's anything interesting in here though. Hopefully there's a blacksmith. You can see there are some custom or other structures here from Recurrent Complex, so that's one of the mods in here. Lots of uh, cosmetic stuff and biome enhancing stuff that I added. Um, 
And then also some other ones. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> that make it a bit more difficult, such as like rough mods, the uh, you know, toughest life. You can see we only start with three health. Why is there no entrance here? That's weird. I guess I breaks with this dirt. That is not. What is that? Oh, what? What? <laughs> interesting. Okay. I have not seen that before. Um, but I will steal all of your stuff. I probably don't need all these iron holes, to be honest. But I shall take the food and such. Is there anything nice on here? I've never seen. I hope that's not a bug or something. Uh, I'm actually gonna s snag some of these. Uh, so yeah, so that's kind of gonna be what this series is about. And I will upload this mod pack as well to the course launcher. Um, it may go up at the same day this episode comes out. I'm not sure. I'll put a link in the description once it is up so you can go download this as well. Uh, hopefully everything is stable. I tested it for a while. It seems pretty good. No big con uh, conflicts or anything. So it should be fine. And you know what, I'm actually thinking we might as well stay here the first night. Um, uh, if you guys haven't played with... Oh, this is so... This is <laughs> weirding me out. I've never seen that. Oh, perfect. Um, if you guys never played with, like, Embers or something, it's like a Dwarven tech mod, I guess I would say. I think that's how it describes itself as well. Um, and then Roots is more like a magical, nature-y kind of mod. Um, uh, but it, the good thing that we got the armor here, because if you look, recipe, there's no recipe. A lot of the vanilla armor, or all of the vanilla armor, cannot be crafted. You have to make the modded stuff, um, or you have to get them from mobs. And I increase like the drop chance from um, for mobs so that they uh, uh, drop more. Actually, we didn't pick up any like axe, right? Let's just make a wooden one. Why not? I'm just like I should really focus on things. I want to go out and explore because, like I said, there is actually quite a bit to check out, and I. Hoping we find a green beam. That would be ideal. Um, we need to be careful. Nighttime when it comes. Uh, the the darkness itself. If you if you like stand in it for too long, uh, something might spawn and try to devour you. So be careful with that. So um, yeah, and there's uh, some other couple of recipe changes. Not too many. I didn't want to go super crazy, but uh, the first mod to even get started with roots or embers is better with mods. We have to get started in that and and make some progress. Um, let me just mine this up when we go explore a little bit first, though. Yeah, staying in this village would probably be a sort of good idea, but I'm somewhat worried that they will be overrun by zombies uh, early on. You can also see how dark caves are, right? It's it's pretty dark. Right now I'm using Optifine, so you can't really see it at the moment, but... Um, oh, hello. Do they attack me in this? I actually forgot if I turned that off or not, <laughs> but no, they, they do not. Um, come here, piggy. It, you, uh, yeah, it's really dark, but I have Optifine uh, installed and I have the dynamic lighting uh, feature enabled so I can hold a torch and go into dark spots and it lights it up. It doesn't prevent mob spawns when it lights up uh, with the dynamic light, but you can see, which is super awesome with this, uh, in combination with this uh, hardcore darkness mod. If you don't, oh, this is a good chest. <laughs> if you don't want um, Optifine or anything, you can also download the dynamic uh, oh, just a bunch of food. <laughs> That's disappointing. <laughs> you can download the Dynamics uh, lighting mod. There is one that actually adds the same feature kind of as a mod. Uh, I still want these pizzas, though, to be honest. And this leather. Did I not? I thought we found some leather earlier. Maybe we didn't. Uh, I, you know what? I'll leave this out. I don't I don't really need it. Yeah, these, um, this little structure is the, the, the good chest. It has the most loot. Um, there's some stuff that can drop in there. That's really good, but it's low chance. Um, but they do spawn really often, and I like this area. This is super pretty. This is going to be a lot of exploration as well. Like I said, I want to add more structures to explore uh, later on. So uh, I guess I shouldn't go too far out, really. Well, no, it doesn't really matter. I mean, the world is <laughs> the world is endless. We can we can travel. We can check out things. Is it getting night already? I think it is actually. Yes, it is. Okay. Uh, we should probably go down for the night and. Just go mining a little bit, uh, get some resources going, and this is such a pretty area, I wouldn't mind settling down. I'm still hoping that we'll see a, a green beam at the sky, but uh, unfortunately, unfortunately we don't. Oh, this is really good too, just some iron lying around here, and some coal, of course we need to get that first. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go make a little hidey hole, probably in this little hill here, why not? That's what dwarves would do, right? There's ores, there's goodies. I don't know. I don't know much about dwarves. But uh, I'll be back once I have something awesome here going.
just bringing you guys back for a little bit. I just want you to like kind of check out the nighttime a little bit. Um, the way the hardcore darkness is set right now for me is that uh, it gets darker depending on the moon phase. Right now we have a pretty bright moon, so it's not very dark, but it gets pitch black after a few nights. But just look around this, like the sounds, all these like little uh, light bugs. I keep forgetting the names. <laughs> Um, fireflies. I think it's really nice, like the leaves and such. I don't know, I, I love this. It's like so... Ah, it's so pretty. You can... Oh, there's a green beam! Oh, that's good. We have to go there and I see a zombie coming. It's just... I don't know, I just really, really enjoy this. It's very, like, atmospheric. You can hear some owls sometimes. There aren't actually owls, it's just, like, sounds. All the footsteps you can hear... Um, are different. Oh, that's not good. But that's really not good. Oh, you heard that sound there for a second? Oh god, I'm in trouble actually. Um, I'm pretty slow right now. I'm gonna close this off. That sound that I was there for a second, like a growl or something. Not the zombie one, a little bit different. That was a creature approaching us <laughs> in the darkness, but it's all good. But yeah, I, I don't know. I just like it. It's very atmospheric. I like this. I like it. Um, did I get a shovel? I did. I don't have any inventory space. Um, I will also try to put a lot of the changes I did to this pack um, on the curse side once I upload the pack, just to see a little bit of like what's changed. Because, like I said, some some things have changed, so uh, maybe that will help you out. But yeah, I'm gonna go back to digging. I'll see you guys soon. Ooh, that scared me. Yeah, that's the downside of using the torch in your hand. It doesn't actually show you how dark it is around you, but uh, just make sure you place these things. Oh, I'm getting really cold right now, unfortunately, because it's night time, so uh, let's just quickly cook something up, I guess. Uh, I think the furnace should emit heat. Do we have, like, mini coal? We don't have mini coal. Come on, heat me up, please. You can see the little icon down here, like, shaking. That's what it is, and we're running low on water as well, but um, I don't think nighttime is gonna be much longer, to be honest. While I'm sitting here, warming myself up on this furnace, which is soon gonna be empty again, um, let's talk about what we start out with. Uh, maybe you saw at the beginning, we have the bottle, we have a bunch of apples that you start with, so you have a little bit of food and a torch, just in case you don't make it like... Uh, to get torches at night or something, otherwise you would be uh, dead pretty quickly. And we also start out with the food journal from Spice of Life. Uh, it just keeps track of what you have been eating recently. Um, I did lower the the amount of food you need to eat before like Spice of Life like resets, right? Uh, it's I think it's six, six or eight food or something. It just keeps track of. And also I turned off that if you like have low saturation on these things that uh, it like slows down your eating animation because that's super annoying. <laughs> and uh, you also start with this book of stats. Now this one is kind of interesting. I'm a little bit so-so about this, but I think this could be pretty fun. Uh, you can use your levels to upgrade certain skills. So we could make the furnace be faster. We could uh, attack speed, uh, increase that. This one is a little, that one I'm like a little bit eh, on the edge with, I guess, on the fence, whatever it's called. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's some interesting skills here, so you can just upgrade them and uses your actual XP, right? Uh, pretty cheap early on. And you can also just store all your XP here. I think if you take it back, it might not give you back the full amount. I don't remember. It might just be if you degrade the skill that it doesn't give you back the full amount. But uh, yeah, something to, uh, to keep in mind of. And if you ever lose this book, you can also just craft it. Oh, it is daytime. So I think it's time to leave. Hopefully it won't be too bad. Anyone here? No? Good. Creepers, by the way, can make themselves invisible, I think, in this, so... <laughs> not, not, not the greatest, but, you know. Only if they're really close to you, though, not, like, all the time. But yes, drink up this dirty water, because why not? You can see our water thing is, like, greenish now. That means it's, like... Oops, that was not good. <laughs> Similar to the hunger effect, it, like... Slowly goes down, and yeah, jumping into the water made me instantly cold, which is... That's a little bit what I have a problem with, with uh, Toughest Nails. I feel like the, the way they calculate the temperature is not ideal, but... It seems better in 1.11 than it was in 1.10, though. But yeah, this is where we want to go. 
This is a structure I added myself. I build it. It's fancy, hopefully, maybe. <laughs> uh, let's see if it generated nicely. Yeah, it looks okay, I think, sort of. Mm -hmm. I don't know why there's sand, but that's fine. These are waystones. This is, ooh, free food. This is our way of uh, teleporting around the map easily. Uh, so that's why I mean like, oh, that was not good. Oh, that was really bad. Now I'm super cold. Um, that's what I mean is like, even if you like travel a lot, it doesn't matter too much because you can teleport back to a lot of things very um, easily. So we just, uh, we could right click this. Now we are bound to this and we can open this interface and teleport to stuff. Now, because I'm generating them and maybe there's a better way to do it and I just don't know how to do it, but the way I've set them up is they all don't have a name. So what you can do though is if you find them, shift right click the bottom and that lets you, oh, wait. Oh no, you can't do that here. Oh, okay. That's something I have to change then. Uh, I was supposed to be able to rename them, but maybe you need to be in, let's just try this in creative mode. Oh, you do. Oh, that's unfortunate. Um, I'll just call this near spawn, I guess. Okay, so I need to look into that, how you could fix this, because unfortunately they always spawn like this, um, and then it makes it difficult to see where you want to teleport, right? Uh, yeah, something something I'll try to figure out, but uh, that's kind of, there are several of these things. There are three types, one for like general biomes, uh, and then one for uh, deserts and one for ice biomes. Um, so, pretty easy way to teleport around. I'm just trying to see if we can find more loot or something. We should definitely try to, uh, you know, find a good place to build somewhere. Uh, if we want to be dwarven style, oh, there's another teleporter. That's pretty uh, pretty close, actually. I made them a little bit more common because I tried it out a bit and was, like, super uncommon. But that's still something I tweak um, while I play. I'll, I'll probably, like, change the um, the uh, the chance of them spawning a little bit once, uh, once in a while. But, uh, yeah, so let's see. There is a... I don't think this building over there really has anything. I don't want to jump into this water. That's why I'm kind of, like, trying to go around. Uh, we could just make a boat. I didn't bring my crafting bench like a fool. And just sail across the sea. And maybe get more sticks and goodbye. And I'll leave the crafting bench there because why not. Uh, -hoo -hoo. Oh man, I love boats in this. You can also attach chests to the boat. It's like a storage thing, which is kind of cool. Uh, just in case you want to do that. That's something you can definitely do. I'm kind of like on the side of my mind. I'm thinking about how I can fix these waypoints now. Um... You know, if I'm, like, playing by myself, I don't mind just switching to creative mode and then renaming them, and then uh, uh, then it's all good. But for you guys, if you want to play this pack, that's a little bit weird, right? So, yeah, that's unfortunate. You can see it's, like, empty here now. I don't know. I I'll see. Maybe there's a config or something that lets you rename them or something. Uh, I'll just do new spawn, too. <laughs> and right-click. Um, just to activate it. So, yeah, now we could, like, teleport back to the other one, right? Um... Let's go in your spawn. Now we're back here. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, this biome is super awesome too. I don't I don't really know where we want to settle down. Like I said, if we'd want to do dwarven style, we should probably go into caves and stuff, right? Um, but there's also things to explore, so I don't wanna like just stand around in one spot. But I guess I shouldn't go explore like a ton in case I do add new things, then I don't have to like travel as far, but um yeah, so let me just go around a little bit and see if I can find anything interesting, and then I'll be back with you guys soon. And yes, I forgot to switch back <laughs> to single player. Ow, what was that? Oh, I'm I'm thirsty. That's what it is. Look at this crazy structure. It's like a thorn or something. Interesting. I don't know if there's anything there, though, but I want to keep going. Oh, great. Rain, of course. It's always rain. Why wouldn't it be? Okay, so this is a relatively flat area, and we are pretty close to that first uh, waypoint. And we have this little pile of rock here, so I'm thinking this could be just our, like, cave entrance or something, if we want to go over the cave, I'm not quite sure yet. Um, we could just dig down uh, here, right? And uh, uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of some of these trees and just, like, build a large fence around this area. So that we can also like build outside of here a little bit. And yeah, that should be good. So let me go get back to work because that's <laughs> going to take a while. But yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Ah, good thing we got that wool from those sheeps. Uh, unlike my other packs, you can actually sleep in this. <laughs> I have not turned off 
being able to sleep it is um just a little bit of a different experience for me yay goodbye rain you know while i'm chopping down these trees i almost feel i don't know i that's something i've been thinking about but i, I was wondering if i should add um the vein miner stuff or, or excavation or whatever it's called if it's out for 1.11 just to get rid of a little bit of like grinding down these trees but then again i do have a mod here that gives an enchant well that's an enchantment that lets you um chop down trees in like one go but uh, i tried it out in creative a little bit and it doesn't work well with like these crazy weird trees trees here like those things or the one i'm just chopping down just because the shape is a little bit funky uh, so, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you guys can let me know what you think about uh, stuff like that. Uh, I would probably just make it, you know, work on certain blocks, not on everything. Just like trees and stuff. Um, but, uh, yeah, maybe something to think about. Alright, I just cut down some trees here and put a fence around. Not the prettiest thing in the world, of course. But it will keep us somewhat safe for now. Um... I had a lot of birch, so <laughs> I chose birch. Birch it is. Um, uh, there is a little bit of a uneven area here, but I think I'll just fill this in with dirt later. But we should focus on uh, getting started with uh, uh, this mod here called uh, Better Than... Better with Mods, that's what it's called. So uh, what we need, or not right now, but we should get started, is some of these hemp seeds that you just get from breaking grass. Um, if you ever need a good guide about uh, better than mods, uh, better with mods, I don't know why I can't remember the name. Um, the uh, uh, Vasky has a mod pack called Proton, in which he uh, modified some recipes a lot, but he he focuses on uh, better with mods as well. And he wrote like a little guide about how to get started with that mod, which uh, should apply to like any version of that of that mod. I don't think it's like anything. Uh, to do with like his custom recipe so that's something you can look up online maybe uh, if you want like a pretty good uh, guide about that but um, yeah we want to get some of these hemp seeds so I only got a couple they are somewhat rare so you just have to go break a bunch of uh, break a bunch of grass I thought I had a little bit more though but that's okay I think I might just go uh, outside there is there let's see take a hole forgot if there is this thing here where... Oh, I should remove these from my hotbar. Okay, Piggy, you can come in. You live there now and might get eaten. Uh, is this something where you can destroy multiple at once? No. That was something else, I guess. Um, but I'm just going to go collect a few more because they are somewhat slow when they grow. Uh, to grow. Um, but they're like too tall. So once they're like too tall, they, they regrow a little bit faster. But definitely something I want to get started as soon as possible. Yeah, let's also break some of these gardens. Probably a good idea to get all of this planted early on. Alright, just planted all of our crops we have. Just uh, all of the crazy stuff over here, the Pam stuff. Uh, we eat some beetroot and then our good old um, hemp, hemp seeds. Unfortunately, we don't have any bones, right? That would have been nice. I guess I could try to go into a cave. There is a cave over there, but... Uh, that's fine. There are actually a couple of other things we need to work on. So, first of all, uh, let's get some cobblestone cook, uh, cooking here. Because we do need some smooth stone. Is that a weird? And I'm going to go grab some real quick. Alright, just to tell you like the overall goal right now, right? We want to get started with embers and roots. Uh, but for that, we need to go through a little bit of... Uh, better with mods the to, to get started with roots we will need to have the saw from here which is if i can find it there it is uh, the saw and it needs a couple of things it needs like the cauldron um, and it needs some uh, power some mechanical power which we use uh, generate with uh, wind windmills or water mills uh, so we have to work towards that and then for embers we have to make this steel anvil using soul forged uh, steel so that's a little bit further out and that will give us access to amber so these are kind of like the goals um, the first thing we need though is to in order to make like a windmill for example if we look this up here we need these like windmill blades and they need hemp cloth right and that needs hemp fiber so that's what we do with the uh, the hemp seeds which you get by putting hemp which you get from our plants into a mill right and uh, to get a mill we just make it out of smooth stone and a wooden gear nothing super fancy Later on, we can um, 
we can control the wooden mill with uh, the same power from like the windmill and stuff, but because we don't have that yet, we have to also manually um, uh, manually build it. What am I trying to find the mill? Right, let's make a bunch of these gears. Um, so for now, we have to like manually uh, grind down things, and to do that, we need this little hand hand crank here, which is nothing super fancy. Uh, so these are like kind of like our starter items for this. We can. Uh, just put these down. Oh, I don't know somewhere here. Why not? Uh, you put all your things in here, and you can see you can grind down some other things too. For example, we could take our flour or our, uh, wheat we have here, which is actually pretty good because um, instead of turning like uh, three into one bread, we can turn three into three bread. So you just put this in, and you can just hold right click, and you can see it grinds it down now, makes a nice uh, sound. Uh, I'm holding right click right now. You can look in here and see this bar filling up. But after four times, I think, or five times, it will pop out your item. There it is. So, a little bit of manual work, but yeah, our goal is to automate this, obviously, later on. Um, but I'm kind of, I kind of have to wait for these guys to grow. So, since we are um, just waiting for the ham to grow pretty much right now to make any progress, pretty much, I'm just like deciding to explore a little bit. The animals, I think, have a chance to drop dung as well. I don't know if that's fertilizer. I would kind of assume it is, but I actually have never tried that. Um, and to be honest, I don't really ever find dung, really. Oh, sugar can We should grab these. Yeah, I'm kind of hoping that we can still find a little bit of uh, world gen. Like I said, there is not a ton yet. There are currently, like, the things I added are the waystones and the chests that you can find. But the chests are a good way to increase your hearts, by the way. Um, they can spawn in those. Uh, you can also get the, I think there's an ore that you can mine. I made it quite rare though, so it's it's not, it's, I don't think it's easy to get. What was that sound? It was like a weird sound here. I don't know what that was. Um, So something to keep in mind. Oh, is there maybe a witch in here or something? Nope. I like this little tunnel thing. Um, and there's also like uh, armor, uh, resources, and the pearls especially, which is always nice. Are you guys pooping around here somewhere maybe? I'm actually gonna kill. Actually, you know what? No, well, I killed this guy. I should probably um keep some of these and just start a farm somewhere to be honest. No poop, right? You guys pooped and somewhere, anywhere? Uh, but yeah, so there's not like a super lot of structures in there yet. I will add more over time, like I said. If you guys have any ideas for things I could add, like I said, this is like a dwarven themed thing, I guess. So that's kind of like what you can keep in mind. Uh, let me know. I am adding an, adding them with recurrent mm -hmm. complex. So uh, if there's any like structures you guys want to build to be put into this pack, you could do that as well. If you have a good idea, uh, you can maybe build one or tell me about it first or something and then send over the file. Is it getting night already? Oh, wow. Um, obviously, like, you know, I, I can't just add every single <laughs> every single structure, but um, if there's a if there's a good one, I'll, I'll definitely consider adding it. Oh, look at this. Oh, my God. They're dying. But so pretty. Little fairies. It's a fairy pond. Is this water special or something? Oh, no, it makes me cold. I don't know. Oh, so cool. Uh, but yeah, it is getting nighttime. So I think since I have to wait for our plants to grow, I think I'll just go do some uh, some caving in the meantime. And uh, next time we'll come back. Oh, my house is right here. Nice. Next time we'll come back, hopefully they're grown and we can get started with some better with mods. And I'll go probably cave a little bit off camera just to get more uh, resources and a little bit more situated here. And you can see now actually, since it's been a few days, how much dark it actually gets at night, right? This is not the full... No, actually that is the full darkness. Yeah, it's completely, <laughs> it's completely dark. You cannot see anything. But I like it, man. I like it. Um, I need to figure out if I can set it so that if you hold the torch the groove won't attack um i know you can do that with the dynamic light mods i don't know if i can do that with optifine though maybe i'll switch over to that mod too but we shall see uh but yeah that will do it for this episode so let me know what you guys think about this uh this pack let me know if you go check it out and give it a try if you can find something cool um i think i'm gonna add some structures that i will not show just some surprises once in a while um, but yeah, it's hopefully going to be a nice exploration pack and a little bit of tech and, you know, a little, little bit chill. So anyway, thanks a lot for watching, guys, and I see you soon. Bye bye.